What is going on guys, it's Sin back with a brand new video finally um, and today I'm going to be looking at cloud gaming which I haven't done for a little while actually. Uh, last time I played Stadia was probably January and xCloud roughly the same. So the purpose of this video is I've recently moved house and my internet is now pretty terrible. I'm used to having higher speeds than what I'm getting now and I thought to be honest this would be a good time to test what Stadia and xCloud perform like on an internet connection which is probably more average I'd imagine. Um, I don't actually know the full statistics for my area in terms of average internet speed. Um, so yeah the main reason for this is to see how these work on that kind of internet connection. So I'm going to do a quick speed test, we'll see what we're getting and then we can jump into some games. Uh, one thing I will say is actually that's going quite high, that's impressive, I was not expecting that. One thing I will say is um, this test I'm going to be using a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, uh, the Xbox One controller, and um, the router I'm using does only go to 2.4 Hz mode instead of the 5, which is recommended for cloud gaming. So whilst the internet I got 42 down, um, the router itself is not really recommended for cloud gaming. There's a nice little stadia ad as well coincidence I think not um, but yeah so the recommendations I'm, I'm running off here it's probably not going to perform very well but like I say this is just to see how they sort of perform on what I imagine to be a more average internet speed for my area obviously in different countries and different places this is going to be drastically different um, it's just what I'm used to is say 200 down whereas now 40 down which is drastically different from what I'm like I say I'm used to. Um, I am going to be getting some new internet in the next couple of weeks so when I do get that internet I'll be able to do a, a better comparison on higher speeds um, against the two platforms and see how they've changed since launch or since say November because xCloud's been out a little bit longer um, and yeah just compare them and see which one is currently performing better. So I'm going to leave this part here and we're going to jump into some games because I want to see how these work. So the first test I've got here is going to be xCloud. So we're just loading into that now. Um, as you can see the library of games on this compared to Stadia is much better and this is only in beta. So already xCloud gets one point for the fact that all of these games, if you're in the beta, are free to play right now. And yeah, it's a much more exciting list than what Stadia is offering. But to keep this consistent what I do want to do is play the same game just connect the controller. I want to play the same game across both um, platforms. So in this case it's going to be Destiny 2 because there isn't really anything else I can play on Stadia that I can play on xCloud. Um, so yeah we're going to hop into Destiny 2 when this loads in and then we'll compare how the run against each other. So this always takes a little bit of time for some reason uh, setting up the stream. Uh, I'm sure they'll improve that in the future. But the game is loaded in there now. Already you can see that there is a connection issue which is just pointing out what I mentioned earlier, the fact that I'm running on 2.4 hertz instead of the 5 hertz. Um, like I say, when I get the new internet, that will change because I'll have the ability to put it up to 5. It's just I don't have that yet. I'm still waiting for Virgin to send that out, uh, which has been a couple of weeks already. So it's a little bit frustrating, but you know, we'll get there. We're in a pandemic, so <laughs> I can't blame them too much for not getting the system out of us. So whilst this loads, I'm hoping that it'll ping up quite quickly. Like I say, I think the main issue with this internet connection now is the fact that it's on 2.4 but I just want to see how the game runs. So I have enabled um, cross save so I can use the same character on both and obviously jump into the same area to make it fairer. Oop, the connections went right off there. It's not a good sign. But we'll get into the game, I'm sure of it. <laughs> What you've got to do is wait. Patience. Patience is a virtue. There we go. So let's quickly just do a little test. Not that you can see what I'm doing here, but in terms of input response, 
that seems pretty good. Um, I'm, just, I'm not going to wait around and keep doing that. What what I will say is I've normally found that Stadia had much better response in terms of input lag. Um, in the past anyway, like I say, I haven't played really these since January, so that might have changed. But yeah, going off what I used to experience, Stadia did... Um, Oh, that was a little bit of a slowdown there. Uh, Stadia did perform a lot better in that in that aspect, um, and in, in terms of connection as well, I always found that Stadia was a smoother experience. Um, and we'll see how actually one one thing I do want to check here is how quickly this loads in on XCloud compared to Stadia, uh, because obviously this is running off an Xbox One S, whereas obviously Stadia is its own little all little nuts and bolts and whatever else they've put into it but um yeah bit of audio a uh, bit of um visual flaws there connection seems to be stable and slightly though can't really hear anything in terms of input lag uh in terms of audio issues but then again we're not in the game yet just want to make sure Things happening. It's actually taking a longer load than what I expected to, to be honest. Um, so I'm a little bit surprised by that. Okay, there we go. Right, we're in the game. Okay. Feels all right. It's um, actually feels a little bit, a little bit slower. I don't know what FPS this seems to be running. Maybe thirty um, compared to the sixty on Stadia. Don't quote us on that. I might be wrong. That's just my bad aim. Yeah, the response is going off. Obviously, what I was saying when I was in the menu seemed a bit, you know, less noticeable in terms of input lag. But now I'm playing, I think there is a slight delay. You can definitely notice it. Let's see if that smooths out because the connection has dropped down again, as you can see by the bars. So that might just be that might change when it when it levels out a little bit. In terms of visual, though. You know what, that's, apart from that initial issue before, nothing's really standing out in terms of visual issues. Um, there hasn't been any major slowdown. Audio sounds alright. A few little dr uh, dips in the audio, a few little stutters, but nothing major. Uh, other player there. Just test it. There does seem to be a bit of an audio delay from when I'm actually pulling the trigger and um, hearing the sound. I don't know if that's the gun, but we'll try it with this one. No, it's definitely. I hope. I'm hoping. I mean, I'm not a seasoned Destiny player. Someone could tell us that that's the uh, just how the guns work in this game, but that is definitely a bit of audio delay when I'm shooting that gun. Um, so that's noticeable as well. So yeah, I mean, in terms of input responses, works fine. Uh, no major concerns. Like I say, it's not perfect. There is a slight delay, which you probably will notice if you're a hardcore gamer. Casuals, probably not as much. I didn't melee again. I say I don't even know the buttons. Um, yeah, trying to focus and play at the same time. Did it disappear? Okay. Um, so yeah, you probably won't notice it as much if you're a casual player, but I think for, for those who play quite a lot and are seasoned gamers, if you will, might notice that slight change in input response. Like I say, this seems to be running on 30 FPS as well. So one of the other tests we can't do because we're on xCloud is we can switch this from Wi-Fi to 4G just to see what the difference is. So we'll let that reconnect. There we go. Straight back in. Oh, the bars have went let that let that smooth out. There we go. Actually, that feels much more responsive than 
what I just experienced on Wi-Fi. So that's um, that's a good sign. Obviously, in terms of uh, playing games this way, you're going to be um, stuck between what your, your data limit is, unfortunately. Uh, I know for some people as well, you'll have that on your broadband, but uh, here in the UK, that isn't an issue. Um, so mobile data, that'll be where I get hit with the caps. Uh, broadband, unfortunately. Also, I say fortunately, I won't have those caps. Uh, that works. Yeah, input responses are much better when I'm playing on 4G, to be honest. Again, that might be down to the fact that I'm on 5, not not on 5 hertz, but I'm on 2.4. Um, so that just might be a factor of the router that I'm using. Um, so if you have one that does that 5, then you might be in a better position. Again, I'll be able to test that again in a couple of weeks when I get the new uh, setup. But yeah, so far, much better. Um, I haven't had any major slowdown, any major stutters on 4G as well as Wi-Fi. Um, sound seems all right. Uh, let's just test the guns again to see. No, I mean this, that, I don't know if that's Destiny or if that's just me, but that seems to be a bit of a delay. It doesn't seem as bad as what it did on Wi-Fi. Um, I'll be able to do a more thorough test when I get a, a camera set up so I can sort of record the input responses and we could probably slow down and see um, if there is much of an audio delay but that seems better than what it was responding to on Wi-Fi anyway so yeah I think for those who maybe have unlimited mobile data this is definitely an option you can clearly play um, Destiny 2 runs fine Obviously there's a few hiccups every now and then, but in terms of a smooth experience, going on doing some quests, yeah, you're going to have no issue doing that. Um, that's definitely one benefit with XCloud over Stadia, the fact that you can do that, because on Stadia at the moment, I'm going to die. You can't obviously run on 4G or 5G or any network. It has to be Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, obviously XCloud get that point as well, but we'll have to compare the, the Wi-Fi capabilities. So. I'm going to stop this one here and we're going to hop over to Stadia and then we're going to see how that one handles. So we're loading up Stadia's version of Destiny 2 now and we'll compare the two like I say and see which one seems to run better on the setup that I've currently got. Like I mentioned earlier I think this is probably more of an average speed. Um, hopefully anyway <laughs> I could be completely wrong by that guess um, but either way uh, the setup I've got isn't perfect to, to run these platforms. Um, the internet fluctuates quite rapidly. I'll do one more speed test at the end of all this to see if it's changed. Um, but yeah, we'll just see what the gameplay is like anyway on this current setup and compare the two like I mentioned. So load it in. Input responses. I mean, this is a menu, but you know what? That feels as good as I remember with Stadia. Uh, like I say, I am using the Xbox controller, not the Stadia controller, so it might not be as, ac as good as when I use that controller. Um, but obviously, I wanted to keep it consistent. Um, one thing I can't do is because I am using the Xbox controller, is I'm unable to um, bring up the guide, so I can't see what Stadia is saying the connection is, which is a little bit annoying because you would assume that would have been mapped onto the Xbox home button but it's not so uh, yeah we're kind of stuck guessing what <laughs> what the connection is but we're mainly here for the gameplay and seeing how it performs in the gameplay so um, that actually loaded a lot quicker than the Xbox version so already that's I mean that's one point got to give that point there okay so oh one major hitch there Let's just see if it takes time to move out. It's um, okay. That was a little bit sluggish at the start there, but it seems, yeah, that's definitely 60 FPS. Oh, so it's a higher frame rate, but the connection actually is worse. I'm getting a lot more stuttering, a lot more um, slowdowns. Let's just uh, run around for a moment and see how this changes though. But yeah, that's that's definitely smoother in terms of FPS, which is a good thing. But obviously, <laughs> gameplay-wise, it's struggling. Um, whether or not that's the full 
uh, the 2.4 hertz or if that's the the slower internet speed I don't know just kill some gears kill some gears input lag um, like I mentioned at the start when I was in the menu that's a uh, Oh god, I'm gonna die. Yeah, that's not a problem. The uh, input lag actually isn't a problem here. It's like I say, probably if you're a hardcore gamer, you'll you'll notice the slight difference. I mean, I think it's very difficult to tell personally, uh, but it's definitely playable with the input delay. But the issues I'm having here are more of the stream, not the input. So I would die. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think. Oh no, I've run into more. Ah, this did not end well. Um, never mind. Guardian down. Yeah, I don't really play Destiny. <laughs> so, what I was trying to say is, yeah. So the uh, the issue I'm having here isn't input. I think input's a lot better. Well, not a lot better, but it's it's noticeably better than um, X Cloud. I think the responses are much better. Um, and I think the uh, 60 FPS is just, well, that's just better anyway. I mean, you can't knock 60 FPS compared to 30. It's it's just a game changer. But the issues are definitely with the, the stream. Um, the slowdowns, the audio issues, it's, it's freezing slightly. Um, yeah, it's just not as smooth as what I've experienced in the past with Stadia and you know compared to xCloud as a as this test is so I can't really compare the past right now because that was on a different internet and that was in a different location and you know like say that was faster and on a better setup whereas now I'm comparing them both on equal terms same controller same internet and um, xCloud just performed better um, which is actually surprising uh, I generally didn't expect that to happen but here we are um, so one thing I will actually try and listen out for is is that audio delay something I made up so I'm gonna get over here All right let's try this no maybe it's maybe it's destiny maybe I'm just a, a destiny noob and I just don't understand but yeah it seems the same as what I've just experienced on xCloud to be honest so Maybe that's just the guns and maybe that's just how the audio works in this game. Like I say, I don't really play Destiny. I played it briefly when Stadia launched because <laughs> there wasn't anything else to play. Um, so that might just be how the guns work in this game. I don't know. You can correct us if you want. That's fine. Um, but actually, it's smoothed out a bit now. did just want to keep playing just for a second just to see if it did get any better. Um, so yeah, it has actually smoothed out. So... Just see. Yeah, that's um, that's starting to get a bit better in terms of the quality. So whether or not it just takes a few minutes to, you know, get itself <laughs> get itself together, I don't know. Um, but it has it has started working a bit better than what happened at the initial start of the stream. I don't know what that is. But that. Um, so yeah. I'm still going to give it to xCloud because I think xCloud ran better, more consistently, um, even though this seems to have leveled out now, um, it took some time to get there rather than <laughs> working straight away, which you'd expect. So yeah, I think xCloud in terms of playability on this setup that I've currently got, in terms of visuals, frame rate. Obviously, Stadia takes the crown there. Um, I think it's just because the X Cloud's currently running off an Xbox One S that it's just not going to look as good. Um, and obviously, it's not 60 FPS, which I think is a big difference, um, especially in gameplay. But yeah, I think this has actually smoothed out a bit now. Um, so it has sort of leveled out, but like I say, because it. Not to say that it, it's it's a bad thing, but because it didn't work instantly, <laughs> I'm going to have to give that one to xCloud. So I think both are playable, both viable options. Obviously, the thing with uh, xCloud is that you need to be invited into the beta, which depends on when Microsoft open up some more invites. Um, Stadia is actually free now for two months, so you can claim two months worth of um, Stadia Pro. 
uh, and just jump straight into Destiny, uh, PUBG, Grid, a few other games were on there. Can't remember all of them, but yeah, you can easily just go on to that website now and download it and uh, get yourself in there and start playing. Like I say, I'm using an Xbox One controller and I'm playing on the phone. Um, I don't know, I'm assuming, you, yeah, you can use an Xbox controller and play on a laptop or a PC, so, you know, you, you don't need the Stadia remote to do that either. Uh, so yeah, if you want to play, give Stadia a try yourself, do it. I, su I suggest that, uh, well, I don't suggest, I, I recommend that you do it because it's worth trying out and seeing how it works for you. Um, and obviously xCloud, I recommend signing up, signing up for the um, the beta because hopefully if they do some more invites soon, you'll get in there and you can give that a try as well. Um, obviously in terms of library, xCloud takes the crown. In terms of stream quality on this current setup, xCloud ran better for longer um, and started off better. Graphics and frame rate, Stadia takes the crown. Obviously load times, Stadia blue, xCloud out the water with those load times. So, you know, there's a few things to consider anyway. But that was the kind of test that I wanted to do on this internet, um, mainly because I don't have the new setup yet. It will be a couple more weeks before I get that. But once I get that, I'll be able to test out these services again and seeing how they compare on a higher end um, internet setup, if you will. So hopefully that was insightful, hopefully that was slightly enjoyable, I have no idea. I just kind of wanted to do this for myself <laughs> um, and just wing it all in one take. But here we are, I've done it, Destiny 2 on Stadia, Destiny 2 on xCloud. Um, I'm going to give the win to xCloud and then we'll try this again in a couple of weeks when the internet comes and we'll see if that result changes. Hopefully it does, for Stadia's sake, but you know, I'm not biased, I'm happy either of one of these can take the crown doesn't matter to me as long as the work and they continue to improve them I'm still interested in cloud game and I think it's got a place um, it's just which service can provide the best value and the best um, playability and at the minute on this test anyway that's been xCloud but like I say we'll pick this up again in a couple of weeks so like I say hopefully that was insightful um, if you liked it obviously leave a like leave a comment correct us on the audio issues that I was facing um, but yeah, I'm just going to leave that video there because it's been long enough, I think. Um, so thanks for watching. I've been Sin. Peace.